Okay, so in the previous video, we installed a hard drive in the Relic Altair G1. So that's the physical side of it completed. Now we just need to tell the software that there's a hard drive in there and initialize the drive and set up our library. To achieve that, we've got our, our Relic. It's configured on the network. Uh, so as you can see, it's a wired connection in this instance and it's got an IP address 10.1.100.169 in my case here. And we've got the iPad here uh, ready to do the configuration. Got the iPad here and we're going to open up the Lightning DS app. And this will connect to our MyAries, the Altair G1. And what we need to do now is to go to top left and then to bottom left and click on settings and we are going to go into music library and we've got a currently available uh, lightning server on this device and go into now if you notice it says unavailable no disk now we have an internal hard drive in here so we need to initialize that disk so go into additional settings and library path information here if i click on this cog here and there's an option here, add internal storage. So if click on that. And this path name, slightly confusing name, but it's basically a nickname for what we're going to call our internal drive. So I'm going to call this internal SSD. And I'm going to save that. Okay, and save that. All right, so you'll now see that we've now got two library paths. Uh, and in fact, it's already told us what the capacity is. Now, it tells us the drive is connected. Um, you may, if I can drive this correctly, it's initialized already this particular drive but you generally will need to do initialize storage here just to format it and make sure it's ready all right so we've now got our drive connected it's initialized and it's now part of the system but there are no there's no data on it looking at the top here we've got a status of ready we've got two library paths one's the external usb drive which is always ready although there's nothing connected as it, as it says here and then we've got the internal SSD drive that we've just initialized. So we've got the hard drive installed. We've initialized the hard drive and the Lightning uh, DS software knows about the hard drive. We now need to get some content on there. And there are two ways we can do it. One, we can copy it across the network because this is a network device. Or the other is we can physically uh, use a USB drive uh, into the back of the unit. So let's try that first. So I'm going to put this USB drive directly into the back of the Oralic. Okay, so as you can see, it's now seen the uh, external USB drive. It says it's connected and it also has detected that there are 29 tracks on that drive. Now, if I want to copy the contents of the USB drive to the internal SSD, I click on the internal SSD I scroll up and I've got this option here import music from USB drive click on that and as you can see I've clicked on there and it's saying it's importing the files and it will give us a, a real-time status that will just take a while for it to copy it across see it's finished importing now and the status is ready so I am going to remove my USB stick. Uh, if I now cancel out of the library settings and close this. Now if we go to up here and we go to music library, uh, let's just have a look. If I browse by folder, it's saying there's no music, music library selected, so let me select one. And the music library we want to select is this one. 
Okay, we're going to select this library. Okay, so it's three albums, 29 tracks, etc. So if I click on my albums, it shows me we've got, I think, a Fat Freddy's Drop and a London Grammar. So if I go into London Grammar, these are the individual tracks. And if I just want to play Hey Now, click on there. And hey presto, it's now playing London Grammar Hey Now uh, from the internal hard drive. So we've just seen how to copy music which is on a little external USB thumb drive directly attached to the back of the AOR Alec into the internal SSD drive. Now let's look at how we can do that by, because it's a network device, we're going to copy it from our Mac computer across our network wired or wirelessly directly onto the internal hard drive. This is my Mac computer and I've opened up Finder and in my music folder I've got some music. So I've got Peter Gabriel, uh, Kraftwerk and again London Grammar. And what I want to do is to copy that to my Oralic which is on my network. So if I look, I've just switched back to the uh, app on the iPad and what I want to do is just show how we get the information about this particular unit. So if we go into settings down here, so I've clicked on the bottom left hand corner of the cog, lightning devices, my Aries, and it says it's a wired connection and what I'm interested in is what the address is and if it was a wireless we click on the wireless icon but it's click on here and it tells us it's connected and, and this is the IP address. So this, we just need to remember this address and it will be specific for each individual device. So typically in a home environment, it would be 192.168.1. whatever. Okay, so just remember that IP address in our instance, 10.1.100.169. All right, I'm gonna switch back to the Mac now. Here we are in Finder. Uh, on the Mac, I'm in my music folder and I've got some albums here and I want to copy this Peter Gabriel to the Oralic. So I'm going to go to the Go menu option. I'm going to go Connect to Server and it's going to present me with this Connect to Server dialog and the first bit is the same for everyone, SMB colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address of the actual Oralic. And that's the information that we saw um, on the iPad control. So in our instance, it's 10.1.100.169. Yours is probably likely to be, you know, 192.168.1. something or other. Okay, so I click connect, and it will present you this uh, login. We're going to connect as guest, and it will then show you the volumes that are available on the Oralic. HDD is what we want to connect to and here you can see so this is actually looking directly at the Aurelic hard drive internal hard drive and if I click on this folder here you'll see these are the files that we copied off the USB uh, stick that we demonstrated earlier okay so that's the Aurelic hard drive so now I'm going to go to up to the menu and do find a new window and I am going to go to my music folder. So I've got two windows here. This is music on my local Mac hard drive and this is the Oralic. I'm going to select my Peter Gabriel track. I'm going to do edit, copy, select the window for the Oralic and I'm going to do edit, paste. And that will then copy Peter Gabriel to the Oralic. Okay. Now we'll switch back to the iPad and we'll just check that that Peter Gabriel is indeed visible. Back at the iPad, it's currently still showing that we've only got three albums, which is what we copied off the USB stick earlier. So what we can do is, it will catch up eventually, but you can force an update. So go into settings, go into music library, go into the lightning server. If we go into additional operations here, Okay, in fact, it's, it's just looks like it's done an update. Okay, no, it still thinks it's only got 29 tracks. What I want to do is rescan all paths now. It says it's starting up here. And it's now done it. So now we've now got 50 tracks in there. If we 
go back into our music library, you'll now see we've got four albums, etc. If I go into here, you can see the new Pitch Gabriel album that I've just copied. <coughs> and I can play that. That completes the setup of an internal storage library within an Aurelic Altair G1. It's pretty much the same for the Ares G1, and the Ares G2.1. Uh, check out our website uh, or give us a call if you want to talk about anything about streaming or to arrange a demonstration to come and see them and listen to them for yourselves. Thanks for watching.